Hey, hey, Vinyl Community, Jeff in the house. Jeff in the house. Uh, yeah, that's a good cool name, right? Anyway, um, the only way I said that is because I'm going to be jumping another contest for Royce in the house. Um, he is celebrating uh, 200 videos and pushing to 700. He's at the 630 mark, I guess, at this point. He's pushing to 700 with this contest. So I have a link below for the contest. You can jump on board and get on with this contest too. And we basically have uh, nine items, to show, nine albums under three categories to show uh, with the bonus included in there. So we're going to jump on this right now. Um, first category is three albums with songs with a song over 10 minutes on it. Now I have quite a few of these. It's not too hard to find prog type music. That has this kind of so i'm going to jump right into dream theater and almost every dream theater album has got songs like that now at least you know back in the day and nowadays i mean they got entire sides this one um is just one that, and it's probably going to be hard to see but uh and he octavarium which is the title track is 24 minutes long it's hard to see it's impossible you have to trust me it's 24 minutes long anyway but yeah dream theater have epics that are many times longer at some times but I'm, I'm trying to find somewhere i could actually show the time on the album this not every album has the actual time on it he didn't ask to see it but you know i figured you know to cover my tracks transatlantic another band i mean shoot their whirlwind album is one song 77 minutes of course it's broken into movements but it's one continuous song there's no breaks which made it hard to put on vinyl when they recently did that because of course it breaks it up for every side um, but this is, uh, you know, the first song on here, Into the Blue, is 25 minutes and change. Which did fit when they put it on vinyl. I mean, most of these were recorded on CD, and I'm sure when they go back to try to do a vinyl edition, they're like, oh, man, how are we going to fit these epic songs <laughs> on vinyl without splitting them? So, anyway, Trans Atlantic number two. And in related news to Transatlantic, we've got... Uh, Neil Morse, Jesus Christ, The Exorcist. This is his take on Jesus Christ Superstar, an updated version. And this one has, again, it's it's a, got a lot of monumental stuff on here, but there's a song here on track on side B called Jesus' Temptation that clocks in at 10 minutes and 18 seconds. Again, just a couple quick ones that I could find uh, that had the song links right there on it. Second category is three soundtracks so why not just jump right into jesus christ superstar the other one was an upgraded version of this here's the original ian gillen on, on vocals and all the group from the 70s so there you go there's a soundtrack second soundtrack it's one of my absolute favorite movies from when i was a child phantom of the paradise it is just it's just it's a killer album too it's got just a whole wide range of music and if you haven't seen the movie it's you know it's kind of a Phantom of the Opera takeoff slash parody. I don't know, only because it's got a guy in a mask, Phantom of Paradise. But anyway, cool stuff. Uh, anyway, yes. And this was sent to me as VCLT from Bev. So that was cool years, a couple years back. And then a modern movie, Electric Jesus. This is a fair movie. maybe two years old now, a year or two old. And it uh, it's about a young Christian rock group and struggling in the early days to do their thing. You know, fictitious, but it's got a lot of the stuff that happened back in those days. It's a cute little movie and a great little soundtrack with lots of different uh, bands. All right, and then the third category is uh, three albums with great keyboards. I'm going to backtrack on one because Dream Theater has got one amazing keyboard and Jordan Rudis, just amazing keyboardist. He is phenomenal musician, phenomenal keyboardist all around. So I'm going to bring that back as number one. Sort of semi-related is uh, Der Derek Shrinian, uh, Sons of Apollo is his current band. I mean, he does a lot of different stuff, a lot of different appearances. I say they're connected because he was at one point also in Dream Theater before Jordan jumped on. Um, Sons of Apollo is the guy, kind of a super group here with uh, Jeff Scott Soto and Mike Portnoy of Dream Theater. And anyway, Billy Sheehan, just some great stuff here. Third one is... If you don't know Vision, that's understandable, but it's got Billy Powell on keys, and he is, of course, uh, from Leonard Skinner fame back in the day, and this is, he rips up the keys on this 
I think more than I ever really heard him rip it on Skinner's tracks. I mean, it's just, he is just phenomenal on this album. Great stuff. R.I.P. Billy Powell. And then the soul, the uh, bonus is an album with uh, posters. And actually, I don't even know how to point to them, but there's two back here that just came in yesterday that both have posters. Um, pretty much anything from uh, the High Roller Records nowadays has post posters. I haven't shown these on a video yet. I'll be working on that later. Um, but this is Blood Good. This was reissued about I don't know, a year or so ago, Dangerously Close. And one of the big selling points or whatever was that it came with a big poster of the album. And I have a ton of albums with posters, so this would have been easy to do. It's kind of like the one of the things they do nowadays is they throw things in there like posters, a lot of labels. So there you go. Three albums from three categories with the bonus. And you can jump on board this contest too. Link below again. Go support other local VC members. And we will see you later. Rock on and rock hard.